integer bingo with addition and subtraction. This is the Valentine's Day version. All of the instructions are on slide two. There are 26 different bingo cards. So um, if you have more than 26 students, you can just click on one of the slides and come up here to slide duplicate. And you can duplicate as many different slides as you need. All of the problems that you're going to call out to the students are on slide three. So as you call them out, just click and hold and move them to the right hand side. And that way you know which ones you've used. So these are all addition and subtraction integer problems. Now when you're done with the game, you can come up to the undo arrow, click it repeatedly, everything goes right back into place. I give the students editing rights so they can scroll up and down until they find the bingo card they want. And then I have them just type their name or initials into one of the chips. And that way they claim the board so other students know that they have to go find a different board. Now, as you're calling these out to the students, they're going to find the answer here on their board. board. They're going to click and hold on one of the uh, chips and then move it to cover the answer. When they get five in a row, they can just call out bingo. And if you want to check their answers, just have them move their chips slightly to the side, and then that way you can check and see if their answers are correct. Now when the game's over, the students can come up to the undo arrow. All the chips go back into place, and their name comes off. So that way if they want to play a second time, they can scroll up and down until they find a different board, and they can play again. 